toss. Oh, an excellent toss. All right, good job flowing into our beginning positions. It looks good. All right, from the first play, it looks like it's going to be physical down low. Um, I don't. I think it looked good there, but let's just keep an eye on how physical it gets and make sure they're not they're they're playing tough but not illegal. Zach, we just had that screen in front of you. Let's look at it and see uh, whether or not the screen was legal or whether it was an illegal screen. Jake, uh, after you got to the lead position, you did not move from your spot. It's like you got to uh, you got to B position basically on the baseline, and you just stood there. Um, as the ball goes around, you need to mirror the ball, and at some point, the ball was kind of in, uh, below the free throw line extended on the opposite side of the court. We want to maybe think about a rotation there. Excellent no call there. That that was a guy going for a layup and three defenders. So I think that was an excellent no call. Son, I like to look at that play. I didn't. I didn't have a good angle on it, so I'm not saying it's wrong. I just didn't. I was opposite side of the court, obviously. So let's look. Let's look at that play. Uh, I know we talked about that play yesterday, so I want to look at it.
son, uh, for that foul, we're going to watch it on film. Uh, I think it was a foul, but we'll, let's talk about what we're calling that foul. You called that a hit, and the guy was straight up. He hit him with his hips, and he, he kind of got under the shooter. That's a block. And the reason why that's important is because you, you get a lot more credibility when you say the right thing, when you report the right type of foul, what it actually was. I, I don't, I, like I said, I think it's a foul, but I don't think it was a hit. So let's, let's remember that when we're reporting fouls. Put your hand down. That wasn't your three to mark. Connor, put your hand down because that was not your three to mark. That's right. A little bit of miscommunication there. Um, what we had is we had a, a son do a rotation across, a live ball rotation across the, uh, the baseline, which is a, a good live ball ro rotation. Um, son did a good job of communicating or trying to communicate that. Jake, I think you just got locked in and you didn't see that you were you were the new you were the new trail. Or excuse me, you were the new center, and you you thought you were still lead. That was a weird dead ball rotation. So let's uh, we'll talk about it when uh, when we go look at the film. Jake, let's make sure uh, we mirror. Are we uh, we mirror a made three signal? Son, that was a, a good foul call. When you report fouls, I think you're tilting your numbers down, and I can show you this in the classroom. Um, keep your numbers straight up so the table has it doesn't have a hard time seeing them. Um, you're you're very loud, you're very confident in your foul calls, and I I like a lot of that. I like what you're doing. It's just we need to make sure our report matches everything else because you're really stellar at calling the foul. You're really stellar at communicating that, um, and then you're it just looks like your numbers are a little sloppy.
that's gonna be a good play to look at, depending on our uh, depending on our angle. Um, the division line. He caught the ball right at the division line. He was in the air. So I don't know. I don't know if that was a backcourt violation or not. We can look at it. Yeah, I think so too. Hey, uh, son, let's look at that foul on film. I thought that was a pretty, pretty clear block. Um, I don't think there was a foul on that, and that's a really tough sell for you to make to come from to come from trail on a play on the opposite block. So we'll look at it. Um, just have have trust in your partners in that situation. That your partners, if they see a foul, they're gonna get it. Let's make sure we're making eye contact before we inbound the ball. There's been a couple times, a couple instances where we we inbound the ball and our and we're and our other officials are just trying to figure out their positions. Remember, before we inbound the ball, let's just have let's make eye contact. Let's look at them, uh, make sure we're all in the right spot, and then we inbound the ball. We don't want to be scrambling trying to get in the right spot once the ball has been inbounded.
so, so we have also had a couple instances where we've we've had multiple fishing officials officials <laughs> signaling on an out of bounds play. So for example, we have a, a play where the lead will signal out of bounds because like it went out on the baseline, which is correct. But then we'll also have a trail signal it as well. Um, that's that's an unnecessary signal. We only the person whose line it goes out on is the one who should signal it. Now, if there's a question about where it goes out, or if they need help, that's a different story. Well, it looks like a lot of times we are we're signaling. We're signaling um, from trail automatically, so let's not do that. The fact we just had is a good play to look at and talk about kind of how we how we communicate amongst the crew and with the table. Um, we you, you we had on the floor called uh, no shot, and we, we're screaming, we're yelling out no shot, and then it comes to find out we have one on one. So like, we, you know, in the back of our minds, we need to know, hey, next next foul is one on one. Because if we know that, then when when we have a foul occur, we're not saying no shot, then one on one. We can say, hey, one on one.